everyone, it is Friday. I'm cutting it close because Marco and I have to be at the airport in five hours and our luggage is not packed yet. But I wanted to do a little kind of travel essentials slash pack with me vlog. Not really packing because I mean, you guys know that I put the clothes into the packing cube and that all goes in. But I wanted to talk about a couple of things that I am bringing along on this trip and a quick little Q and I have some questions that I got in my broadcast channel regarding travel. This is going to be Marco and I's very first trip of the year. Traveling for my birthday, I usually like to just get away during this time of the year. We are heading to London and Paris. Mark went serious FOMO when I went last year, and so I'm excited to be back. My best friend is also going to be there. So obviously we've got some travel vlogs coming soon. I wanted to just break down what I kind of set aside to pack. I'm not that stressed about packing. Our house is currently getting deep cleaned downstairs, so like the kitchen and the bathrooms. I do have all of my stuff kind of organized into these bins. What I have in my room right now is essentially like my gear. And then I also have my personal bag. I'm gonna be traveling with my Margot 15. And then Marco and I have our clothes on a rack. We've already picked out our stuff. I've had my outfit PowerPoint for weeks. And I also have a set cosmetic and toiletry bag already prepped for trips. I feel like I've really streamlined my process and so it helps make packing a little less hectic. I'll do the quick little Q&A first. How to plan an itinerary. Because Mark and I have been to Paris and London before, it's not gonna be such a hectic schedule. Whereas when we went to Japan or Korea, it was so hectic and so busy because we were trying to cram in as much as possible. And that's exactly how our first London trip went, how our first Paris trip went. I tried to get anything and everything done. But now that we've been a few times, we can actually wander and explore and take our time with these things. I'll find places via Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. And then once I find a spot that I want to go to, I immediately put it into my Google Maps. We'll search for the location, I'll favorite it, and I'll mark it in the city. And then when it comes to our itinerary for the week, once we're actually there, I try to zone things out by neighborhood. When we first check in, we're going to be at our hotel in the Mayfair area. So I plan on exploring Mayfair and Soho. Then the following day, it is Knightsbridge or Notting Hill. And then because I am in that area, I will see on my maps what's nearby and that way I can kind of weave through the locations that I've bookmarked. I never like super strict itineraries. I'll only try and lock in like maybe one or two things a day and then let the itinerary kind of flow on its own. So this is just my method and it has just worked for me that way. Favorite travel credit card. I have been an Amex card holder for years and I love my Platinum Amex. I have seen like the best benefits of this, but again, you will only see these benefits if you travel often enough. And so I'm always booking my plane tickets on here, always booking hotels. There are some times where you can get better deals directly from the hotel, but there are certain perks that come with booking through Amex, such as early check-in, late checkout, free breakfast. Uh, you get like a food and beverage credit or hotel credit. I feel like I was able to use my credits towards the spa before. So if anyone is interested in signing up for MX, I have my referral link down below as well. And the benefits of the credit card go beyond just like booking hotels and travel. You can get free global entry, they'll waive the fee. You can get Uber credits, you can get Saks credits. So I could go on and on about this card. I'll just have the link to the MX site so you can do the research if you are genuinely interested in that card. And then the last question for this, I figured was a good way to go into this favorite gear for travel. So I am currently filming on my Sony a7 IV and this is my at home camera. It's great for filming long form content. Like if I'm filming for 30 minutes to four to five minutes, the camera does really great. But when I'm traveling, I'm not sitting down and filming for as long. And so my go-to cameras for travel I have it in this beautiful Jenny Bird bag. I tried out the new Sony ZV-1 Mark II on my last trip to London, but I wasn't a fan of the quality. That one can only do up to 30 frames per second, and so it's not really matching up well with my other footage from my other cameras. And so for that camera, I might sell it. If you're interested, let me know. But I love my Sony ZV-E1, and this one I can use larger lenses. And so I like to travel with this one, and then also bring this lens that you see here, the wide angle, because it's great for when I'm doing my sit down, catch ups and updates for the day of my trips. So I really love this one and I'll probably do a more thorough video on gear 
in case anyone is interested. I love this thing. This came out last year and Mark, when I brought it to Japan, I brought it to Korea, the Philippines, Paris, and I just love this so, so much. My last trip to London, I was lucky enough to get my hands on a Leica Q3, which is still on back order. I have a project with the property and I'm also trying out a new hotel in Paris that I just booked on my own. I was genuinely curious about it from photos. So I'm excited to share a little bit more of like city guides in my content this year. So that just goes in this bag. I will pack this stuff away, but I don't want anyone to feel like you have to have all of this gear. A little travel tripod is this one, it's just from Amazon. And let's see, where is that thing? And I have a little iPhone attachment that goes on it. So this is great for traveling. Um, I'll tend to carry a tote bag with me. So this one gets the job done and also comes with a little remote. I just have my laptop charger in here, some cables and my adapters. So this I usually just keep as is. And this way it's easy for me to just like grab everything I need when I'm traveling. And so this stuff usually always stays packed this way. This one is my European Dyson. I bought this a year ago and I knew that I wanted to have a hair tool that I could easily travel with. And so this always comes with me. This one also did work when I was in Asia. So if you are traveling somewhere with a different voltage, your American one cannot work. And I've had use with this one. Last for gear, I wanna share something new that I was influenced by Miss Cassie Thorpe on, and it is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. So this one I will be testing out for this trip. Mark was very excited to be playing around with this, and I just love how compact it is. This is kind of why I am going to be selling the Sony ZV-1 Mark II, because this one has 4K 60 frames per second capabilities, and I just really love stabilization on this. It's also just perfect for travel and on the go, whether you are doing things that are more adventurous, more city, DJI is really stepping things up. So I will also just do a review on this once we do a dedicated gear video. Now that we have tackled the gear, let's go into the personal bag. I know we're tackling a lot of segments and I'm kind of going fast because I, <laughs> I really need to pack my luggage. In here, this is the 15. I'm very excited to travel with this. I have several bags in here. So this is my little uh, cosmetic bag. I have perfume in here, hand lotion, whiskeys, uh, a little lip balm, sanitary pad. And then in here I have my phone charger and cable and little remote. I am, I just love little bags, bags within bags. This one is, always with me. You probably have seen this before, but I have hand sanitizer in here, vitamins, my charger, a comb. Um, what else is in here? Medication, a pen, oil blotting sheets. And this is just all the stuff that I like to have with me for my personal bag. I will also be bringing my laptop with me. So that will be going in here or my carry on suitcase. And I'll just take it out before I sit down in my seat. Um, I have my eye mask from double stitch and I like that this one has space for my lashes. Um, I have my jewelry in here with me in this little trinket kit. I'm not bringing a lot, but I did want to just have a place for my accessories and then I'll just like wear all of my other stuff. I have my sunglasses in here. I'm only going to bring two and then my wallet, obviously my passport and a little light. That is it for this section. This is all good to go and ready to pack. Let me show you what we have in the primary bedroom for our clothing. I did such a great job with my purge in January that I now have an available clothing rack before they were all just packed. But I was serious about my decluttering and cleaning for January. And now Mark and I have a free rack that we can just put our clothes on and plan our fits for when we are traveling. You guys know I love my Apple PowerPoints. I have had mine made for like the last two, three weeks. I've been brainstorming. So I have just had like all of this stuff pulled and everything pretty much works well together. You are 100% going to see things that I've definitely worn together before. But when I travel, 
the key thing for me is always comfort. I'm there for food, I'm there for the vibes, and I'm just there for a good time. I actually think it is warmer in London and Paris compared to New York. So I am excited to pack all of these things. Again, these all go into packing cubes. Packing cubes go into the luggage. And then that's pretty much it. I have these bins that I got from Amazon and it's just such an easy way to get everything together. That's why even though we have to leave for the airport in about four hours, I'm pretty sure that I can get all of the packing done within an hour. Hi, baby. Wade is going to have the best time with his grandparents in their new house. Right, Wadey? Yes. I honestly would have loved to bring Wade, but the UK is really strict about their regulations for flying with pets. It's not like when we flew to Italy where we just needed some paperwork. But yeah, let me give you a rundown now of my toiletry bags. So this one is just all of my makeup. I There's nothing special about this. It's just my usual routine. For my skincare, I have a bunch of things in here. This bag is from Sunny's Face, um, but it's essentially like my skincare routine in like travel sizes. Just throwing everything into the suitcase and then that's it. I'll see you guys when I start to pack everything up. Lucky I'm alive with you by my side. Yeah, feeling so right with the love on a fight. Ride or die, running low till you got in those veins. You've been thinking about me 24 7, 365 every day. Yeah, yeah. More than I'm feeling, I can verify that. Check mark for whatever your wishes might commit. We can go to wherever, nothing really matters as long as we're together, baby. You're the one, baby. I promise that. No, she cause you're gay. Yeah, I know you'll do the same. I'm reporting live from the airport. This is my first official clip on the DJI Osmo Pocket. So we're doing a little test run with this. Just got to the lounge and we have about an hour before we need to board our flight. So that is it for this video. And next stop, London. Marco wants to do the outro. All right, everybody, that's it for this video. Alyssa appreciates all the love and support you guys give her. You look like you're doing an NBA interview. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.